So let's talk about the rib cage. It's Idiot Box Radio with your host, Tori. Hey there guys, welcome to the show, it's Idiot Box Radio, my name's Tori and I hope that you're super well. You can find out more information about the website, www.idiotboxradio.com. Follow the link down below and you'll see how you can support the channel. I am looking for more people to join the Patreon so as I can have more names come up in the screen. Mum, Dad, my sister, thank you so very much, nieces, nephews, thank you. And thank you to the real people who have committed their hard-earned money to get access to behind-the-scenes content, audiobooks and so much more. So, I'm getting old, okay? I'm nearly 50. It happens... Uh, in about two months, roughly. A little bit less than, let's pretend. I've still got a four at the start. Start of my number, four. It's not like I'm 6'9". Yeah, but um, basically I am 49. So 20 years off that number, off that uh, double pleasure for the whole family. My hair's frizzy. I just went for a walk outside and I've got a technique where I dress up in workman's gear and I go for the walk so as people don't know it's a fat person exercising. Just putting it out there. Like I said, I hope that you're all very well. You can email me your stories of exercise at idiotboxradio at gmail.com. So so yesterday I've hit that age, like not quite 50. I'm making it clear, even though in less than two months, I qualify to live in a retirement village. Um, So I get out of the car, I slip, I fall back against the car because, you know, clumsy and bust a rib. Just, just here. Busting ribs hurts. I'm just going to let you know and it hurts to breathe. So if I wince at all, I'm telling shallow breath. So you probably will hear me breathing a bit more than normal, even though I do tend to cut them out. If you haven't noticed that, that is what happens during the course of the uh, the video. I do tend to cut out extraneous breaths, makes the pacing go a little bit better in my opinion. Though maybe it pisses you guys off because on YouTube, I get three or four views per video, whereas on TikTok, there's considerably more. The purpose of today's video, other than the fact that I like looking at myself in the camera, because hey, who else is? Mum, you know, I've been podcasting and doing YouTube for uh, nearly 20 years now and my mother still hasn't watched a single thing. I don't know why. Maybe she doesn't like talking about fucking and sucking, but I'm sure at some stage of anyhow, on with the show. Today's show, guys, is a review of another podcast and I thought, you know, all four of you may want to know about other podcasts and so I thought today we're going to do a review about Wild Ride with Steve-O. Now, Steve-O is Stephen Glover. He is a comedian and stuntman who was in the Jackass, was, is in the Jackass movies, and I am a massive fan of the dude, but we're talking about his podcast. Steve-O does have a camper van, a touring van where he goes around. He's got a studio set up in it, and he goes and visits people in said van and uh, with his friend Scott, and they do go and, or employee, probably a friend too, but on the payroll nonetheless, um, does a fantastic job too, but uh, they go and interview people. Now, I really enjoy this podcast, but one of the weird things about it is that uh, during the actual course of events, sometimes he is underprepared, and I do find it somewhat frustrating. Steve-O does have a really bad habit of talking Walking over the top of his guests and especially over the top of his employees. Stay in your lane, boys. Basically, he answers a lot of questions for his guests or interjects and interrupts his co-hosts, um, Scott Randolph, which I do find extremely, extremely annoying, to be honest with you, Steve-O. Um, Scott brings a lot to the show, as does Paul Brisky, but oftentimes Steve-O will be getting excited or talk over the top or correct them. And I think that would be a frustrating trait and he does acknowledge it, but he still does it. So, hey, I don't know where to go with that because I still love the show and I watch every single episode. The guests that he does get on are varied and they do bring something different to the show every week. Though I do notice as of late he has started recycling some of his guests. I don't know if he's run out of guests or if people have asked to come back. I... I a lot of them are jackass people and it is fantastic to hear from them. It's fantastic to hear the bouncing and the, you know, the actual fact that they are friends, that they do talk a lot more casually to each other. But because they live these things, when Scott asks a question, Steve-O will answer it. Steve-O, no, the question is not for you. It's for someone else. It's for your guest, who I know is your friend, but let them tell it from their perspective. It might be a little bit different. Finally, I just want to let you know that this is well, actually it's not finally and I can't even space my own shows out properly next thing Steve I was lucky enough to have a whole heap of really good sponsors and he does appreciate them and I love the way he speaks so glowingly about his sponsors his segue into his advertisements is fucking painful to say the very least he tries to make it sound as though it's part of the show and something that Scott asks is now a reason for you to use manscape or shave your balls or use something greens 
I don't have any of these sponsors, so I'm probably not going to say any of them correctly. And it's the most awkward transition into what then transpires to be a one to two minute advertisement that I'm just going skip, 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 skip. You know, the most powerful way of advertising, just free bit of advice here. And Steve, if you do want to put me on the payroll, I'm happy to give you my three extra years of experience on the planet. Make the ads less than 15 seconds. Tell that to your advertiser. Do it for long, do more ads, but in 15 second burst. I'll tell you why. I can't skip it. There's no point me skipping it because I'll miss out on show content. So it's easier for me to sit through that 15 seconds. I'm sure someone at the fucking Brains Trust has figured that out. But for some reason, a lot of podcasters, they still absolutely demand on just going nuts going too long and I am happy to skip through 10 minutes of shit and miss out on 15 seconds of you talking less than 15 seconds you're going to fuck everyone up and they're going to have to listen to your sponsors I think it's well worth it make it quick or do what Bill Burr does which is amazing and he just says okay it's read time and he reads ads you don't care if you listen to them or not I don't think in any case Steve-O's Wild Ride is a good podcast Steve-O is a fantastic host who has a very very good heart though at times he can be a little bit preachy if you do want to reference that look at his Bam Margera podcast I do think you said a lot of things to Bam that were unnecessary to be put on public forum and the way you preached at him it's understandable to be worried I think everyone in the world is worried about Bam Margera but he doesn't need you preaching to him like he's a two-year-old in front of a worldwide audience of millions I am sure that you've got millions of listeners and you deserve them but we don't need to listen to you preach at Bam talk over the top of of uh, Danny Wade not have a fucking clue what you were doing with Flavor Flav for some reason Steve-O's preparedness really really falls apart when it comes to interviewing rappers you can tell that's his weak spot he doesn't seem to do a lot of research and the Flavor Flav interview was embarrassing I couldn't listen to it as a fan of hip hop you fell all over the place so I would suggest that you are a little bit better prepared if you're going to interview hip hop people now Steve-O's a millionaire I basically struggle to throw two cents together he's doing a lot right and I'm probably doing a lot wrong but I do want to I do know I can't even fucking put a sentence together I do know about that sort of shit so do I say listen to Steve-O's Wild Ride or watch it it is on YouTube as well I only listen to the audio version I would say wholeheartedly yes he's got a good heart he's got good guests and great co-hosts but there are a few little bits of polish that need to be put on top and Steve-O just watch your advertising it gets boring and dull and your way of segueing is awkward and it just makes me not want to listen to the ad but I do wholeheartedly give you the big thumbs up for your show it is fantastic and I appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you. Hope that provided you with a little bit of background on a show that you may want to try. Sorry about the shit green screen, but hey, you know, it's what it is. It's a $90 green screen that uh, is see-through, so you'll see shimmer, shimmer, yeah!